Right, good morning guys. I'm really pleased today because I've been trying to build this uh, ZVS. It's a mess, as you can imagine. It's uh, diodes going everywhere and resistors going everywhere. Um, and it took me a long time, but everything takes me a long time. I'm not an electrical engineer. That took me a long time and that's much simpler. But uh, this, this was a, a bit more complicated. It's not really complicated, but um, I finally got it working. Now, uh, it comes out of here. I don't think it's that much better on this 12 volt battery. The, the spark isn't that much longer. It's a little bit longer than um, my other flyback driver with a with a tip. Well, sorry, with um, an MJE 13007, um, just a single transistor driver. But this is obviously a double transit uh, MOSFETs um, IRFP 250. I'm using high uh, fast switching diodes. That's UF 4007. Um, and Zeno diodes um, and 10k resistors and some much bigger uh, 3 watt 470 resistors but the, the circuits online everywhere so let me just show you um, here, here it comes it pulls about 2 amps when I get that lovely spark look at that it's beautiful <laughs> it's a real joy as I'm certain you all understand when you finally get it working especially when you've been taking a long time um, but it works on a few of the different pins anyway I will be I want more power and I know you guys know a lot about this kind of stuff so how do I get more power could I add a capacitor I've only got one cap in there um, obviously I can add a battery and I'm going to I need to buy another one uh, but should I change the inductor? I've heard that the inductor it, sometimes you fiddle around with it and you get a better um, spark. Um, so capacitor, inductor, and I have got another flyback. <laughs> um, I thought I read somewhere that you could put two flybacks in on this circuit. Is that difficult? Uh, what do you think? Anyway, um, uh, if anyone wants any more details about how I built it, built this, or if anyone's building their own and has any trouble, feel free to comment on this video because I had plenty of trouble and um, some of your problems might be the same as what I had. I mean, the main thing for me was I was a bit cowardly. I read a lot of um, horror stories online, and so uh, if you're only using 12 volts, that, I don't think that's that big. I mean, I'm not saying it won't hurt. It would extremely hurt, but I don't think it's quite as lethal as when you're using more power, obviously. So uh, don't be too afraid. I just hold it. I used this just to find out. Hold that from the rubber sucker, and to find that output coil. I thought I knew which one it was, and I didn't. I was using the wrong one. So it works better to try it, to test it like this. Make sure you're drawing something, because I was drawing dead just because of two wires, two crocodile clips. Um, they were old and they weren't working anymore, so they'd split somewhere in there. And uh, So be careful with your components as well. Anyway, um, thanks for thanks for watching, and um, I hope I'll have some improvements soon on this. And the plan is to use it on my old Tesla coil, which hasn't worked because of this transformer. It's busted, this neon sign transformer. It hasn't worked for ages, and that's why I'm building this. I want to get a new Tesla coil driver, because I hate having that sitting there and not working. Anyway, thanks for watching.